get rid of men. Okay. So, Ivo, we're here today to solve the gender pay gap. No small ask. So, currently, women get paid 63% of what men get paid. And the rate that we're going, it's going to take around 200 years to close that gap. I don't think we've got 200 years left as a planet, so let's just try and rush things along a bit. It would be classic women to get your foot in the door just as the door's melting. <laughs> Men aren't working. Great. Women aren't working either. Oh. Should I tell you who's doing all the work? Love to know. Dogs. Children. OK. The dogs of people, because they don't understand inequality and they'll broadly do what they're told. Get them in as young as... At what as... age? I don't want to put a number on it, but if you push me, five. OK. We don't have to worry about it. We're at home with our feet up, getting paid the same, brackets nothing. No one's getting paid anything. No. It's a cash-free, child-led communist society. When did you start work? At uh, 14, I worked in a dinky donut van. Great. Were you even aware of the gender pay gap when you were working in the dinky donut van at the age of 14? But there wasn't a gender pay gap in the dinky donut van. We all got a fiver an hour. How do you Which is know a 14 that? year old. Can you imagine a fiver an hour? It was brilliant. Exactly. These kids, they're just so grateful. And also, the boys probably were being paid, say, eight pounds. But you just didn't know, you didn't question it. Do you really think that? I'd imagine that your entire career at dinky donuts was built on lies. <laughs> Women pretend to be men. It's sort of a Shakespearean... Yes, that's very good if um, uh, quite sort of a lot of effort. I mean, I, I wear a suit most days. It's not that much effort. I've often wondered why you've done that. And it's, it's because... because I want the same pay as you. We're talking clothes. Right. We're talking voice. Yes. We're talking general demeanour. Mm. The confidence mm. of an average white straight man. If women are disguised as men, everyone's paid the same. Everyone looks the same. Dree me. I can't help but see you're putting on a fake moustache. I am putting on a fake moustache. Right. Now, tell me, do you respect me a little bit more now? We're going from a very low base. I can't say it's a style that you see many actual men sporting. OK, don't worry, I've got others. Oh, good. Let's do banking. Is that something they'd say? Uh, I've it's... never had a proper job, can you tell? I don't know if you've heard of mansplaining, but uh, I'm an absolute grand wizard of it. That's a Ku Klux Klan term. <laughs> 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 there are a lot of successful, powerful women whose surnames have an undeniably masculine feel. Go on. Courtney Cox. A cock. Dakota Johnson. A Johnson. Cressida Dick. A Dick. Yeah. Winkleman. Claudia Winkleman. She's done very well. She has done very well. Excellent fringe. What sort of earnings increase do you think you could expect if your name was, instead of Susie Ruffle, Susie Todger? So I'm getting 63% of what men are earning. I think 72%. So, it's a, so it's, it's a bit of an increase. It's a step in the right direction. Do you think the fact that your name is Ivo Graham, which is two boys' names together, has helped you...? I've been served a lovely hand. What, do you have a middle name that's a boy's name too? <sighs> I'd have. This would be a wonderful way to find out your middle name was Susan. It would be really good, actually. <laughs> uh, it's actually Todger. Ah, oh, lovely. Um, uh, thanks, Mum. Thanks, Dad. But obviously, many thanks, Dad. OK, I'm not sure how keen you're going to be on this one. OK. But let me explain before you say no. Get rid of men. OK. It's, it's a, a very radical solution. I don't mean killing. I'm just saying get rid of all men in the workplace. And what are we doing instead? Men are going to become like 1950s housewives. They're doing all the caring work. Because the thing is with women, is women do a lot of the caring work. Yes. And then they don't get paid for it a lot of the time. And I would say that in 50 years, men would go, oh, actually, the caring work's as important as the money work. It's not. They're a world in which people do a bit of both. I'm willing to compromise. Mm. Half seas. Splitting it right down the middle. Right down the middle. We've come up with a lot of solutions. Yes. Some great. Some absolute turds. But I think we can both agree. Child labour. I don't see what your problem with this child labour thing is. Get them in. Can I do this with someone else? 